when we try to blame the colonial masters for all the atrocities that happened in Africa and is happening in Africa today, a whole lot of young Africans, especially the new generation, those who want to sound woke and enlightened, they say, stop blaming the colonial masters. For once, take responsibility. You have been free for the past 60 years. And I ask them, how free are we? They say, oh, we are as free as the bird. You know, when people want to describe how free they are, they use the bird as similarly. We are as free as the bird. And I do not disagree with them. I agree. Ah, I agree. Africa, we are as free as the bird. But the question is, is the bird free? No, look at the sky. Is the bird free? The birds are not free. If the birds are free, they will be walking on the ground. They will be walking. But they are not free. Because humans have the tendency of getting them and putting them in the cage. So an African is as free as the bird. That's why I have refused to say I am as free as the bird. I am as free as the air. Because the birds are not free. That is why Chinu Achebe in his book, Things Fall Apart, said, and naked the birds said, since the hunters have learned to shoot without aiming, I, a naked the bird, has learned to fly without pitching. Connotatively and denotatively, Achebe was trying to let you know that even the birds are not free. That is why Nancy Mandela, after 27 years in prison, he came out, became a president in 1994, and he said, Oh, Africa, you are not yet free. You have only gained the freedom to be free. You are not free. You are not. Look at your judicial system. Why do you think your law is called Westminster model? Because your laws were made for you in the conceptual West. The laws you have is not even your laws. It was made for you in the conceptual West. Look at your lawyers when they want to give judgment, they wear weak puppets of the western world that is what they are saying looking like monkeys puppets of the western world look at them you can still look at africa and see the remnants of the colonial powers africans were designed to fail africans were designed to fail listen the failure of the third world countries is the evidence of the colonial powers let me say it again the failure of third world country is the evidence of the failure of the colonial masters because they designed africa to fail that is why fella Kuti said in his song teacher don't teach me nonsense who taught us could it are the europeans the british but they failed to tell our soldiers that the queen is always the queen could it have never happened in england no, they preserved their own. And that was why when we were regaining independence, when people like Kwame Nkrumah, when, when people like Siveni Soliumpio, Patrice Rumumba, Thomas Ankala, Namde Azukiwe, when they were fighting for independence, the, the, the colonial masters were grooming soldiers that would take over from them in a jiffy. So in 1966, Kwame Nkrumah was removed from power. Thomas Sankala was killed. Siveni Soliumpio was killed. Patrice Rumumba was executed and they brought soldiers who do not know what military, who do not know the standard of military, who do not even know what leadership is all about. And you say you are free when your leadership is being controlled from the conceptual West. Look at Nigerian's election the other day. Bola Ahmed Tinibu even, even, even had to go to the Britain. All of them went to Chatham House, the presidential aspirant. Why they even refused to honor the invitation of the media house in Nigeria? They all went to Chatham House. You think it was the Nigerians in Britain that they went to tell what they would do when they become president? No, they went to show themselves the colonial masters. Master, I am here. If I become the president, I will make sure that the crude oil is still being brought to you. Please just put the crown on my head. Oh. When we gained independence, or rather when we regained independence, the crown was given to us, but the jewelries were taken. <laughs> the better you know that, the better for you, Africa. That is why we must say no to neocolonialism, we must say no to imperialism, because we are not yet free. We have only gained the freedom to be free, and we must continue to remind the conceptual West 
that the failure of the third world countries, the failure of Africa, is an evidence of the failure of the colonial powers. We must remind them because the Jews still remind them of the Holocaust. So we must remind them of everything that they did in Africa. But as we remind them, we must build our continent and Africa must be great again. For wisdom, Africa, wisdom is the principal thing. <laughs> Oh